With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students, the question here says select the incorrect statement. So the first statement is that the cerebral hemispheres are connected by tract of nerve fibers which are called as corpus callosum. So when we talk about the fourth brain, the fourth brain has a part which is called as cerebrum. And this cerebrum forms approximately 80% of the total brain tissue and it is the largest part which is having convolutions that is gyri and sulci to increase the surface area for the activity as well as for accommodating more number of neurons. There are approximately 1 billion neurons in the brain part, right? So here we see that this cerebrum has got certain hemispheres that is it is divided into two parts. One hemisphere is the right side hemisphere that is the right hemisphere. The other one is the left hemisphere. While the right and the left hemispheres are joined to each other by this tract of nerve fibers which are called as corpus callosum. Option which is given here is the right statement. The second one is the cerebrum wraps around a structure which is called as thalamus which is the major coordinating center for the motor and the sensory signaling. So this statement is also correct because in the forebrain the next part is the thalamus which around the uh, cerebrum is going to wrap around the thalamus below which there will be hypothalamus and hypothalamus is that part which is a major endocrine gland whereas as well as it is going to control the body functions such as body temperature, urge for eating, drinking, satiety center, hunger and thirst center are there in the hypothalamus. So this acts as a thermostat of the body also maintaining the temperature of the body so homeostasis is maintained. So here we see that this statement is also correct while the third statement is correct. Fourth one says that the cerebral cortex contains motor area, sensory area. So sensory areas are the ones which are going to get the signals from the peripheral areas, organs. Motor areas are the ones which are going to send the signals to the peripheral areas but there are large areas that are it says that they are both sensory as well as motor. Remember these areas are neither sensory nor motor. It's not that they are both sensory and motor. They are neither sensory nor motor and they are basically the association areas which are going to associate the sensory signaling and then analyze based on um, memory and communication and then send the motor signals to the peripheral areas, right? So here this statement which is given here that is option number four is the wrong statement. So we can mark this as the right answer for this question. So this is all about this query. Option four is the right answer. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.